So if you want smooth double unders and to do them consistently, but right now you're kind of stuck just doing one rotation, you can't quite get the rope around, got some tips that are gonna help you out. This is actually very, very common, especially for jumpers who think you have to stay super rigid and tight as you do those doubles. This is not about whether or not you're just magically good or not at double unders. It's about having the right mechanics to make sure you can do the double under successfully. The first thing to focus on, it's very, very important is to tuck your knees as you do the double under. This is a little bit, maybe not the advice you would expect. You probably heard a lot of people say, don't tuck your knees during the double under, that's not good. You don't wanna do that. Just tuck your knees right now, get some success. Bring those knees up to your chest to get some success with the double under and to feel what it's like to do it correctly. Now, yes, eventually we're gonna stop tucking the knees. We don't need to do that to do a double under, but it's not gonna be about restricting and removing something. You're just gonna find that as you do this, when you tuck your knees, it's too much effort and eventually you'll be able to do the exact same thing with a lot less effort and you just won't need to bring your knees up quite as high. The reason this awkward one rotation and not getting the rope to go all the way around tends to happen is the legs straighten out and they kick forward. So if we can remove that and not have the body completely bend at the hips, but instead keep the chest up and bring the knees up to your chest, that fixes that problem right away and gets you a lot closer to doing the correct type of double under, two rotations in one jump. But there's another piece of this, actually two more pieces that are really important. The first is you want your single unders to be very low to the ground, nice and quick and your double under to be up really, really tall, really exploding as high as you can go. Most jumpers are somewhere in the middle. They do really high single unders, really big bounces, and then they don't change a whole lot when they go for the double under. So they just try to rip the rope around and it's really awkward because there's no real difference in how the single under feels versus the double under and you want them to feel super different. The double under should theoretically only change in your bound height, not necessarily your rope speed, which is really weird because a lot of jumpers think you gotta rip the rope around super hard to make it work. You actually don't. If you keep those single unders really low to the floor and you just explode as high as you can go for the double under, you don't have to change really anything at all other than your bound height. So thinking about having really low single unders, really brisk single unders, and a very high explosive bound for that double under is gonna get you a lot closer to being relaxed. And the last main thing that you wanna be thinking about is doing the slowest possible double you can. Everything that we've said so far actually leads up to this, but you wanna think of doing a very slow double under, not super fast, and just whipping the rope around. The more you focus on your arms, and just whipping the rope around the more it throws you off, makes it really hard to do one double under, definitely makes it harder to do a whole bunch of doubles in a row. So instead, really focus on having those single unders be quick, but the double under as slow as you can go while also jumping as high as possible. You can't do one without the other. You have to jump high and slow down to put those two things together for the double under. So really focus on this because in the future, if you wanna go faster and you wanna race through them, you totally can, but it's always easier to go faster later on. Going slower is definitely the harder way to start things out. But if you do that now, it's gonna be a lot easier to control your doubles and do whatever you want to do with them later, whether that's going faster or slower, doing a lot in a row, just a few in a row, doesn't matter. Cause if you have that control, you can tweak them to be whatever you want them to be. But there's a lot of stuff that we could talk about with double unders. I've given very long three hour seminars on just the double under alone. Done a lot of coaching sessions with jumpers on these. There's a lot that we could talk about, but this video is just a few of the most important things to get you into those double unders right away. If you do want some more information on all things jumper, I've got some free resources down for you below.